Thanks for joining our special live coverage of Policy Discussion with Citizens. I'm Kim Dami in Seoul. We are about to go live to Gongju City, where today's policy discussion with citizens is taking place. The theme today is resurgence of small business owners in a vibrant alley commercial district. And as the title itself reads, the discussions will be all about backing small businesses and boosting SMEs. Participants, including government officials and Gongju residents, will be exploring ways to relieve the burdens facing small business owners. These include easing their stress over commission fees, while ways to handle notoriously lingering problems such as no-show customers will be up for discussion. Now, plans to cope with such problems will be laid out in a way that is palpable to the small business owners. And this comes after over 25 billion U.S. dollars worth of aid has been dished out to this specific group over two rounds of financial support. For those who are unfamiliar with these policy discussions with citizens, the UN administration has been carrying out these talks all year round, focusing on a specific topic and having relevant ministries involved in the discussions rather than each ministry listing things that it'll do throughout the year. And one of the reasons for this is so that uh, problems can be worked out by the ministry and the people together. After President Yoon Song yeol said himself he wanted to break down barriers to uh, government agencies. They also allow citizens to comment on government policy making. So middle school students to senior citizens have had to had the chance to say something directly to the president. It looks like President Yoon is about to deliver his opening remarks. We'll come back right afterwards. We would first like to pledge allegiance to the flag. Please face the flag. Salute the flag. It is. Please be seated. We would like to begin our policy discussion with the people under the theme of reviving small and local businesses, vibrant alley commercial district. The president will deliver his opening remarks. Hello, everyone. It's good to see you. I'm not sure if you remember what my number one campaign pledge is. It is about reviving the small business owners and self-employed. The first administration task was also this, reviving and restoring the small business owners and self-employed. You are the backbone of the country. In an agricultural society, the farmers are the mainstay, and in an industrial uh, country, it, you, the small business owners, are the backbone of the country. So you have to be on a good track for the country to be on a good track as well. As we enter the second half of my administration, I said that overcoming this bipolarization is the utmost priority. The small business owners account for 95% of our economy and 46% of employment. 
unemployment, and 20% of the people who are working in the country are self-employed or small business owners. Therefore, revitalizing your businesses uh, and you to be able to happily run forward, it's, it is only when the country can turn into a vibrant economy. So for you to be more, have more support, we will do our utmost. Today, we're going to talk about three main points. One is the recovery and leap forward for business owners and small employed workers. And second is to resolve the uh, regulatory environment. And third is to revitalize the commercial ally, uh, district, ally district. First of all, for the small business owners and self-employed, the, the, the government will provide a historic uh, budget allocation. As we have uh, taken office, uh, ever since 30 trillion won was in, uh, supported to the small business owners, and uh, we uh, are implementing a total of 36 trillion won uh, of support measures. However, with the global high interest rate, uh, tendency, we have, uh, we're still struggling with difficulties. This unprecedented environment uh, is there, therefore our support will be unprecedented as well. First of all, uh, we, next year, for the a dedicated budget for small business owners and self-employed workers, we have uh, budgeted 5.9 trillion won, which is the largest ever, and on top of this, we are going to alleviate um, additional burden like fees. Uh, these days, the delivery fees are the biggest burdens for you, and therefore, uh, at the moment, Average an average of 8.9% is paid for such delivery fees, and it makes your businesses even harder. So, together with the major platform uh, companies, we are going to reduce by more than 30%, and also the traditional markets will be subjected to 0% of fees. And nowadays, we use a lot of mobile gift certifi certificates. However, this uh, the fee for this certificate is around 5 to 14%, and the long settlement cycle makes it even uh, worse to use. So the settlement cycle is longer, and uh, the cash flow is very uh, coming in very slowly. Therefore, within this year, we're going to come up with a mutually beneficial uh, plans. And also, the uh, substantial difficulties that you are facing uh, in the field, we are going to uh, do our utmost to overcome those those issues. Then they are such as uh, like no-shows and malicious reviews and comments. And I know that there are a lot of owners who are suffering from such uh, activities. So we are going to do our utmost, and we are going to put a lot of effort into resolving this issue. And we uh, plan to create um, a reporting and consultation centers for malicious reviews uh, in 90 locations nationwide so that this could be a preemptive measure to resolve such issues. And also, uh, any regulatory measures that are not uh, in, that are not practical, uh, we, are we are going to tackle this. So a representative case would be the disposable products in stores because uh, some of the customers would um, order such beverages and disposable products, uh, saying that they are going to leave. However, they uh, end up staying in the store, but the fines are um, bore by the owners of the stores. So uh, in such cases, uh, such uh, dif difficult cases, we are going to uh, come up with resolutions so that there aren't any of such incidents. Also, 
there are um, advertising, illegal online advertising agencies, um, and we're going to prepare a standard contract to prevent damage to small business owners and create dispute re resolution that ca can resolve problems without going to court. And lastly, the local commercial districts, revitalizing such districts, we are going to do more than we have done before. We have been putting a lot of emphasis on such a subject, but we had faced some limitations. However, uh, with the private sector leadership and their innovative ideas, uh, we're seeing a lot of good ideas that are actually uh, giving a lot of uh, providing fruit. And I think uh, that Jemin Chun uh, in Gongju and Song Simdang in Daejeon uh, is a very good representative case. And also, Mr. Peg uh has done a, a very uh, good job in making the local uh, districts being lively again. And we are going to foster 1,000 private commercial district planners or market strategists by 2027, such as Pe Mr. Peg Jong-won, so that they can creatively plan development strategies for commercial districts. And by coming up with good plans with the fund and um, we are going to support their initiative in earnest and also culture, uh, tourism, and uh, the local specialties using such, uh, uh, such measures we're going to um, make them to help uh, develop the local regions. And uh, like the France's local factories, we are going to establish around 10 local creative spaces uh, benchmarking uh, French, French's cases. And uh, this is where local entrepreneurs, residents, and merchants can creatively work together and uh, interact to commercialize local resources and attract businesses. But with the declining um, population, there are some difficulties to actually forming such commercial district. So we are going to make this uh, more pre, uh, more practical so that it can work towards uh, people's uh, livelihoods and to help their livelihoods. This is the first uh, dialogue with the people uh, as we uh, have entered the second half of my administration. And with such good opportunities, we are going to do our best to come up with good resolutions and measures to help the people's livelihood. And not only the livelihoods, but we are going to come up with policies uh, and pursue the policies that would uh, boost the consumption of our people. And that is the only way our small business owners can live. And I look forward to your good, op uh, good opinions. Thank you. Those were President Yoon's opening remarks that the policy discussion with citizens had taken place in Gongju City today, with a focus on backing and supporting small business owners. We'll be back with the highlights at 5 p.m. Korea time. Thanks for watching.